You can think of the story of Jonah. What happens with Jonah is that, um, roughly speaking, he's a prophet, and God tells him that he has to, if I remember correctly, God tells him that he has to go to this city and straighten it out because it's it's veered off the path and it's it's heading towards doom. And Jonah thinks, I'm not going to that city to tell those people anything like that because they're not going to be very happy with me just showing up there and telling them, you know, everything they're doing wrong. And so he hops on a boat and tries to get out of there. And then God conjures up this huge storm and the boat is about to be swamped. And the sailors, they're, they're worried, I think, about making the boat lighter, something like that. They all draw lots to see who gets tossed overboard. And uh, Jonah admits that it's actually his fault because God's upset with him because he got this direct command to go straighten out the city and he ran off. And so the sailors throw, they're not happy about this, but they throw Jonah overboard and the seas calm and a great fish comes up, a whale, and swallows him. And then he's down in the fish for three days and it throws him up on the dry land. And then he's learned his lesson by that time and he goes off to have this, pursue the proper destiny, to pursue his proper destiny. So that's echoed in this story as well, that if you don't follow the pathway that you're supposed to follow, that this, the seas will become stormy for you and something will come up and pull you down and you'll be in a terrible place for some length of time till you learn your lesson. And if you're lucky, you'll get spit back up on shore and then you can go do what you should do. Well. I mean, that's not a lesson that anybody needs to have interpreted. I think everybody understands that. If you're not oriented properly in the world, you should take your doubts and you should take your doubts and the chaos that you're enveloped in seriously. You should face it and think it through. You should go into it as far as you can go into it because maybe you'll find something at the bottom of it. I mean, the alternative is to pretend that it doesn't exist.